So now let us have a short discussion on uh, Terraform variables. The meaning of variable is subjected to change. If you have a values that may change in future, it is uh, better to separate it from the source file and maintain it separately in uh, variables.tf file. And, and one more usage is if you have that uh, value used in many places, then you better maintain it separately in the variables.tf so that in future if you change in one place that reflects in all other places. Now let us have some practical about uh, Terraform variables. I have created a readme file. Please go through it. And if you see here, we have the CADR block name and environment. These values may change in future. Uh, let us uh, do the, let us submit these values with the variables. First, you need to create a file called variables.tf and the syntax is variable and then the variable name CIDR. And let us create another variable for name and environment as well. Name. Okay, let us assign these uh, names to our vpc.tf, the syntax is var dot, what is the name, CIDR, and then var dot here, the name, variable name is name, and environment is var dot environment. Okay. So this is how you replace the values with the variable names and let us go for terraform init and then terraform apply. And let us go for terraform apply. It is asking to give value for CIDR. Environment, I'm giving it as a dev and then name techie trainers. Now let us see. Just give as if you see the output here, it already submitted your variables with the values. Okay. Now let's go to the console and verify. Yeah, so we have our VPC created with variables. So it when you are applying the command prompt is asking to submit the values. Instead of giving the values here, you can provide the default values. 10 dot 10 0 dot 0 slash 16. The keyword is default. Here you can submit the default values. Okay, so now let us destroy this first and then recreate. Make sure you destroy your resources time to time, otherwise you will be charged. It is test right now apply again this time terraform will not ask you for the values because you already provided the default values okay if you see here the values are already submitted let's go and then check here so this is how we use variables with Terraform.